Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to modded Minecraft 1.12 playing the Dire Wolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Let's take a look at what we're doing. Well, behind me, we've got the breeding setup for the industrial apiaries. And, and that's been going well. We got all those bees last time. And I'm sorry it took so long, but there was a lot to do. And well, we had to get through it. So anyway, today, what we're going to be working on here to start is bringing up our HUD and putting on our, our armor again. And you see, I've got my inventory full of stuff and we're going to be working on the production capacity to start with and get that thing going. And then we're going to see about working towards our ultimate AE2 system. Okay. So for now, we need to do a little bit of work uh, right here here in our genetic and printer and we might have to grab labware from a lot of spots now this is not the most efficient by any stretch of the imagination and so some of you might be yelling at me by the end of this thing but what we need to do is we need to turn all of these into their respective species traits right here so i think i've got pristine stock across the entire yep yep okay and yeah, so we're going to add the diamond up here and emerald, so on all the way down. And then we're going to be taking these additional ones right here. We're going to be putting this set of chromosomes right here. That's uh, never sleep, so works in nighttime. Flowering soil, so not tons of pollination all around. We might change it in the future, but I haven't gotten that trait yet. Speed normal, that's the fastest production speed I've gotten so far. And then humidity tolerance and temperature tolerance, we need that here in the in the swamp because swamps are humid and higher temperature and flowers rock. So we just put a thing of cobblestone down and Bob's your uncle. And eventually we'll move all this stuff inside somewhere. But for now, and that's what we're going to have to do. The effect. Okay, none. We are going to add one though. We're going to put beatific on, which gives us regen and then tolerates rain. So anyway, we're going to put all those on Then we're going to put a fertility of one because we don't want tons of drones extra. We just want the production out of them. So um, that's going to take a while. And while we start that process, uh, let's do let's do this right here. We'll grab that one and then first we'll work on the diamond. So uh, up here, genetic template in. And Forest Princess. And while we're waiting, let's just chat real quick because, um, you know, I've mentioned at the end of the previous episode, and we'll mention it here at the beginning, I've got a Discord server. And if you would like to join that and chat about what's coming up on the channel, got ideas or suggestions for what I'm doing here or say in any other series, uh, feel free to hit that link down below. There's going to be one for just random people that come in. And then there's going to be one for, there is a patron only one if you are a patron on Patreon. So uh, feel free to take a look at that as well. So that's out of the way. What I want to do now is take this one and put both the princess and the drone through there. And then while we're waiting for that, so we've got a few different waiting things we're going to be doing. Let's take a look at the production area for now. And you kind of see how I'm going to be doing the bees, but right here right now there's nothing in here so pretty simple there's no queen no power we need to get power and since we don't have ender io we don't have the neat cables that they have but there is something in thermal dynamics actually if we look back here i inadvertently use them for this you can transmit power along an item duct so um, we're going to be doing signal and plated impulse item ducts we want to get the items moving as fast as possible so we're going right here to this one so we need an impulse item duct and to get an impulse item duct you, well what is that to impulse item duct opaque so what if you just did this you take a regular item duct and fill it with energized glowstone how much energized glowstone do you get out of uh, not one of those one of these 
250 out of a glowstone dust. So let's grab a little bit of that. And we're going to need, what, seven of those over there? Maybe we'll go for eight. Do we have any item ducks? Yes. Yes, we do. And we'll go for, uh, not 10. There we go. And that's going to be a thousand millibuckets right there. Let's do 10 just for grins and giggles. It's going to take 200 for each one. So we need four more pieces of that and we can throw that back in there and so we come over here to the magma crucible chuck this in here and we'll put this in here and we'll let that just do its thing it should fill up one okay yep so that's going to be a waiting game as well and so is over here now the next order of business let's take a look at the updates that we want in our uh, in in our apiary so we've got different upgrades that you can put into the apiaries and we want a production upgrade and i'm glad i got the imperial bee because this production upgrade or not automation we'll need an automation upgrade as well but the production where is it right here okay so we'll need we're gonna go max uh, so you can put a maximum of eight in each of those and let's take a look at the recipe here hit the r key so we get bronze and royal jelly and that's the biggie you have to have an imperial queen for the royal jelly and then we get bronze and sugar and upgrade frames so a little bit of a crafting job ahead we've got seven of those and i don't know if we've got enough bronze right here but we can certainly get started on this part and what's the let's let's bring up uh, production upgrade yep okay so let's grab those we need oh it's, of course it's too large to craft there why why did i not go down into a crafting station redstone so we'll need, well, bukus of these, so eight per, and we've got two currently. So we need 54 total production upgrades. And yeah, we're going to go all out on that. So that's 16 of those upgrade frames. We've got, we've got our work cut out for us. So kind of a crafting slash waiting slash, yeah, all around fun time here. We've got our drone and that going. So next up. Fertility one, put the princess in, drone in, and there we go. So we got a lot of waiting, a lot of different things going on. So let me get to crafting all those items and finishing up these bees, and then we'll go from there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I have gotten all of these. Well, let's let's just make sure. Just took care of the tarnished princess. Should all be good. Fertility one. I ended up not doing the beatific effect on all of them. We just put that back on the Imperial just so it's more like what we originally had there. Again, shift click into there. We got normal production and one fertility. This is good. And then I've also got some signal and plated impulse item ducks. So we can come over here. I don't know how our power system is going to be holding up to this we shall see soon enough i do need to turn this no, no no we've got because of all of that draining of of the rf for the imprinting we are down pretty low on on that so i'll leave the diesel generator running for now how's this thing going is it producing well it's keeping it together i guess we just pull in one bucket of biodiesel at a time and it runs for x amount of time who knows anyway let's come over here and we'll start filling in uh, i guess we'll do that right like so and then like that okay set this to out and we should start seeing 
RF coming into there. Good. And then we'll need to be pulling items out. Okay. Like this. And this is just going to be the name of the game for now. And eventually we will get to a much better setup. All right. Can we sneak in there? Yep. Get that. How about this one? Excellent. Sometimes I do miss the Ender IO cables, but you know what? This has forced me to try new things. All right. So we'll put diamond, diamond, and then automation upgrade. And we're going to do one production upgrade for now because I got into that and realized that our bronze situation is not where we need it to be. Yep. So we'll do that and stretch those out. You can put up to eight production upgrades in there. I don't know how that's going to do for our power system. So we'll see soon enough. Now let's make those match. Yep. Do it consistent. Okay. That, that. I'm, I'm still not. It's automation first, then production. Okay. And like that. That. And then tarnished. And Tarnished is going to get us 10. We're kind of low on the 10. And we'll see what we end up getting out of that. So right now, it's going to be a waiting game. Yeah, there's not much we can do other than wait. We're going to have tons of bees around here. And we'll let that go. Anything of note? No, nope, we'll just have to wait and see what we get. And then eventually we'll run all of the combs into that chest we might get a backup given the production upgrades we might have to have multiple centrifuges going but we'll see when that time comes for now dripping comb what do we get from that one let's take a look carpenter no centrifuge honeydew and honey drop and what can you use honeydew for glistering melon ambrosia and I guess you can drink Ambrosia or throw it in a culinary generator. Interesting. Carpenter. Oh, a dissipation charge. Ooh. So we're not too far from that. Hmm. That's good to know. Dissipation charges. You can throw that in a rainmaker and get rid of rain. That would be good, but not right now. That's not our concern for the moment. What we want to do is come over to this box right here. I'm going to go in like so. And we are working towards AE2 because this system right here, it's working for now. And in fact, we're going to be using this as part of the AE2 system. We're not going to use just tons of drives. We're going to use a storage bus to talk to all these. But, um, you know, we've, we've, got to, we've got to do some work for for that. Let's, maybe let's throw all the that away all right so what um what i need to do is in within a2 you need something called silicon right wait a minute can you get oh boy usage honeycomb b produce not from there queen Hmm. B produce that gives you a silicon drone recipe no recipe for it hmm that would be great then we could just have a bee that grows our silicone our silicon anyway so this silicon right here you can get it from melting down certus quartz dust I guess we could do that and we can get Certus quartz, quartz dust from the Certus Comb, which comes from the Quantum Bee. And I'm going to be working towards that off camera. You've kind of seen the process of creating those bees. So I'm going to do that. It's, it's a rather involved. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to get an Ender Bee. You know what? I'll bring you along for part of that. So I'll, I'll be doing some of the other stuff to get to that, that bee. But for now, 
We could melt down surface quartz dust, but we can also get silicon from the material stonework factory. And that's the recipe right there, which is not, not too difficult. Um, we just need, let's get that and we'll go grab a bucket of lava from our tank in here. Like that. Okay. And then, then we can go right here and let's take a look at the material stonework factory. There we go. Type in enough and it will eventually show up in, in there for you. All right. So this is from industrial foregoing. It's the, uh, essentially a remake of mine factory reloaded, but this is one of the new blocks, a net new block. It's not a copy from anything in mine factory reloaded. You can use RF and I don't know what else. And you get cobble and stone and sand and, and silicon apparently. And so we come in here. The only thing we need is this pink slime. Where do you get pink slime? Here we go. You got to kill a pink slime. How do you get pink slime? All right. How do you, how do you get a pink slime to spawn? You throw some pink slime fluid out into the world. Makes sense, right? So anyway, let's, let's get this thing set up. We need plastic on top and yeah, so that's not too bad. Do that machine frame usually goes right there and I've messed it up again. All right, furnace and iron pickaxe, and then we'll put the buckets right there. And now we just need to figure out pink slime. All right, you get pink slime from pink slime fluid. So let's take a look at that. Is that going to show up? Pink slime. It doesn't tell you where it comes from. Pink slime bucket, fluid transposer, machine outputs. Aha, here we go. Mob slaughter factory. And so this is what we're going to have to go through. We're, we're doing a little bit of a rabbit trail here. So let's come to this one. Do we have some plastic left in here? And this is why we need a two, because I'm looking, you've probably spotted it and I can't see it. There it is. All right. We've got that. And then, uh, let's see, we'll do such a wonderful name, mob slaughter factory. Great. Just great. Gold gear, couple iron swords, couple iron axes and a machine frame. That's a 10 gear. So we need a bunch of iron, 10, some glass, and then sticks. Do we have sticks? Yes, we do. Probably not enough. Are we out of, no, not quite. Let's do that. So we need what? Two, two swords. Okay. And then two axes. Okay. Come in here, get the tin gear going. Oh, we don't have enough tin. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Awesome. And we should be able to do this. Yep. And gold. And we'll need some redstone. All right. And so the way this thing works is you attach it to some RF. And then you put a mob in front of it. And then it gives you some pink slime. So we will try um, just, just for grins and giggles. We'll put it over here and we'll play around. We'll see what types of mobs we can throw in here. And no, that's not how it works. Yes. Okay. So mine factory reloaded. One of the most annoying things is that it, you have to place it down opposite of the way you want. Let's show the working area. Okay, so that's not too shabby. Let's turn that off and we'll see if we can get a mob to come over here. And uh, I need to put away some stuff. Let's do that. And then we'll put away that, that, and the sticks. 
Okay. And we'll come over here. Do we have any? No, we don't. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll put away or put some villagers up here. Who all's on? Just me and Java Dad. So I went and grabbed some villagers. One of them is an apiarist because one of the one of the bees that we need actually for the circus courts bee is um, our needs. You have to buy a bee from that villager. So I'm going to have to go through those trades. But we have to go to the end for for one of those bees as well. So I did see a cow over here. Let's see. Hello, cow. Let's see what happens when we do that. Maybe it's only... Is there RF? Oh, no. Of course there's not RF. Yeah. Okay. Come here, cow. Let's see if it works on cows. Yes, it does. How much pink slime did we get? Not a lot. I need a bucket. I need a thousand millibuckets. So, hmm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Well, let me find some mobs and we'll take care of that. All right, it looks like Java Dad was just in an epic battle with a skeleton. He's gotten revenge on him. Let's clear the chat out. I'm down here in my production area because I tried moving some cows over to to our, our little thing over there. And um, yeah, that didn't work out so well. It's 10 millibuckets per cow. Yeah, we need something a little bit more automated than that. So what I'm going to do here is set up a 7x7 seven seven area. Uh, let's make sure we're not crossing any chunk boundaries. Gonna keep that in mind. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it looks like, or sounds like, blocks are up. All right, so then we got seven there and then seven down. So let's get rid of that. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. And then we'll take some cobblestone. We'll go like this all the way around. And this is going to be a temporary structure, mostly just for the purpose of getting a pink slime ball. Yep, that's that's what I'm doing. Yep. And maybe some ender pearls while we're at it. But uh, no, we actually won't get ender pearls. So they're there. And... Hmm, maybe, maybe, just maybe, we don't do too high. And we'll put this along the top. Like so, okay. And that's going to be just a temporary structure. It is ugly as all get out, but that's fine. Oh, oh, oh and... OBS freaking out again. Let's throw a torch there. Torch there. Torch there. And there. Okay. Now, what we want to do is also put a torch here. Center is one, two, three, four. Like that. And then we need a way to get out of there. Like that. And we'll set our um, slaughter factory right like that. It's got no power in it. And yes, by breaking it, I lost all the stuff. Okay, well, that's fine. And then over, I do need a place to maybe get in. We can turn off the chunk boundaries. Let's put our power cell like that. And that's set to out. So we've got plenty of RF there. Is our generator on? The generator's not on. Huh. Probably you know what? We don't we don't need a generator right now. I need to focus. That's what I need to do. And then Again, these noises are probably louder in my ears than in your ears, especially because I'm going to post-process them. 
There we go. Okay. And then we come in here. Did we get any other... Did we get any mobs in here? Good. Okay. So we should be fine. Let's close this up like so. And then maybe right like that. We'll get cobble and put a stone slab in there. And that's going to block off all of that. And then I can still reach in there and put down a drop of evil. And that's going to make a bunch of cursed earth. Okay. Hmm. Slight problem. Okay. So that's working. Good. And we need to get rid of these slimes. That's annoying. Go, go away, slimes. I don't, don't like having a slime chunk in the middle of this thing. But what are you going to do? Well, now we've got, we've got a slight problem. There's no way to turn this thing off. Hmm. But we're still waiting to get all that pink slime. Yeah, we've got, we've got a decent amount ahead of us. Yeah, we'll just let that thing run. And eventually we'll get our pink slime. And then we can get a pink slime ball. So anyway, it's a waiting game. I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, I think it's time to grab some of this. How do we get fluid out of it? Can we put... Yes, we can. Oh, that gives us liquid meat. I don't want liquid meat. Ugh. I want... I want pink slime. Hmm. That's no good. Can you can you place liquid meat? Dadcraft would love some liquid meat. Man, drinks the stuff like it's water. Anyway, uh I didn't want that. I I need I need pink slime. Of course that sounds terrible when you understand that pink slime is a byproduct of the meat processing industry. And they tend to put it in things that they shouldn't necessarily put it in. Also, of note, something really weird. This has an output of on. And I don't see the diesel generator running. And yet we've got... I don't know how much RF a tick coming in. But this is not going down either. So I don't know if this thing is bugged out or not. Or maybe it's just not doing the sound. Let's see. Can we do pink slime tank? We want this, none. Okay, and then over here. Ugh, no, 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 no. I don't need, I don't need liquid meat. I need I need pink slime. That's what I need. Okay, let's try this. And you know what? We'll make another bucket because because why not, right? We've now got two buckets of liquid meat. Yeah. Not ideal. Okay, not ideal. And I'm wasting time here and we're running up against uh, some arbitrary arbitrary thing that I've set for myself. Okay, we want pink slime to come out of the back. Okay, let's try that. No, not going to work. <sighs> hmm, 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 hmm. I guess we need some sort of a fluid duct. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, we'll try this and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Ignored, we should be pulling. We come over to the meat tank. We're not pushing out any of the items. And then the pink slime tank everywhere, right? Right. Okay, let's see if this works. 
Okay, good. Now we've got pink slime coming in here. And we get one bucket. Awesome. That's all I wanted. I'll come clean that thing up later. Let's see. Did somebody sleep? No, nobody slept. It was just time for... Just time for the sun to come up. All right. What if we put this right here? That'll spread out. Okay. And we get... Okay. And there we go. So we've got two pink slime. Or three, three pink slime. Excellent. Now we can make this material stonework factory and see what this thing is about. All right. Let's try, try this. Has no RF. Let's put that right there. Set this to out. Okay, so it's making cobblestone. And then from there... No, we don't need 2x2 two two craft mode. Okay, and there we go. Grind mode. What else we have? Okay. There we go. All right, so that's how we get silicon out of it. So we set grind mode on all of those. Excellent. Okay, this is going to be very useful. So there we go. We've got silicon coming in. And that way... Um... Yeah, so it's just going to stop. So we've got our one of our inputs for A2 done, and that was quite, quite the setup to get just that. Let's go take a look at our production area, see if we got anything so far. Rocky comb, rocky comb, rocky comb. We got some real jelly coming in. Rocky comb. Well, nothing so far. I'll keep an eye on it and see what happens, but it looks like the name of the game here is... Uh, yeah, we just get we get mostly rocky combs and then occasionally get a tin comb. We really need production upgrades to come in, but that means we need more tin and... Yep. Anyway, so once we get more tin, we can have more production upgrades. Actually, you know what? For the time being, let's take production upgrades out of that one and put them over here. How about that? And then we've got plenty of royal jelly hanging out over in our storage system, so we can throw that in there. And the copper... No. Main thing is tin right now. That's our, our bottleneck. And we'll see what that does, but that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed maybe... But how about over here? Right here? This seems as good a place as any. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you are up to date with everything going on on the channel. Again, Discord link in the description box below. Click that. You can join the discussion, the continuing discussion, and give me feedback. I'd love to hear it. You can also send a comment down below the video. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.